Well, I feel like I've sort of committed myself to making this video. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting deeply stoned. I can still string sentences together. But I suspect that's going to fall apart soon. I suspect that I'm going to lose um, my train of thought from the start of this video. Not that I had a train. Maybe I've had a loose configuration of horses in a roaming around in a certain vague direction. Eh, probably not even that. Anyway, yes, this is known as getting quite stoned. Um, you know, part three of the two other videos I put out. And yeah, this is definitely becoming part three. It's enjoyable that um, marijuana is legal now in Canada because feeling like this is better than getting very drunk and very, I mean, getting a, a little bit of alcohol to sort of loosen your, you know, you know yourself up a little bit is, is, is a fine thing. But um, if you have alcohol, you have to drink so you can start really feeling drunk and then you can really feel mind altered it's enough that you can always have a hangover and um yeah i've taken enough marijuana now um in capsule form that um i'm getting really stoned um and you know comparing it to getting drunk I know that tomorrow I'll be able to get up, I'll be able to function, I'll be able to do my you know, stuff. I might be a little bit lethargic and a little bit sort of, not hungover, but just sort of like, oh, no energy because of, of tonight. But um, I'm not going to be hungover, and that's good. And between, if you know, part one, part two, and now this, I've been on the computer, I've been writing um a lot of journaling and I can still type which is good I thought I think I've probably reached the end of my typing ability which means I mean might not be able to post this because I may not be, be be too stoned but yes I'm very stoned now if you hadn't noticed um, once again these are the capsules that I make I buy the um, the gel caps at lifestyles on uh, Douglas Street and um, I get an ounce at a time because I can't smoke anything anymore and I grind it up and I put it on a um, cooking sheet and I put it in the oven at 240 degrees Fahrenheit not Celsius I said Celsius in the first video um, and I do what's called carboxyl carboxylize it and basically I'm activating the THC within the marijuana without burning it, um, with just slightly cooking it. And it works really well. Um, this ounce was claimed to be a sativa, which yes, it very much is a sativa. And it claimed to be a 30% THC, which I, when I bought this, I thought was, uh, yeah, it was total bullshit. But no, um, I can attest to the fact that this is pretty powerful stuff. I mean, it's because I knew the 30% THC and I knew what my um, yield was by carboxylating the the, um, the bud in the oven um, and the number of um, capsules I made. Yeah, I could work out that it's roughly 75 to 80 milligrams of THC per capsule, which means that I reasonably, you know, know what my dosage is like. And yes, part of the reason I'm recording this is um, because tomorrow, some week, some day, somewhere in the future, I'm curious to just see um, what I'm like stoned. Because, uh, yes, I get stoned and this fall to deal with my mental health issues. Uh, the sativa has been great, but um, it also means I've been every other, you know, Friday and Saturday or in that range, I would get stoned. And it really helped me work through a lot of stuff. So anyway, um, but I'm feeling I'm becoming to the end of my need and interest and desire in using marijuana. And tonight I just thought, let's take more than I normally do and just see what happens if I just get completely stoned. And so I'm sharing that with you. And those of you saying, oh my God, Bernard, somebody might know that you've done marijuana. 
and it's legal now. Um, I have a union job with the civil service. This is my private time. I am not doing anything that anybody by any definition could construe as um, illegal and I don't have to worry about um, my employment. So, so why not talk about this? Um, and part of it is that we should talk about this. People getting drunk is acceptable still. We don't talk about it when people get, you know, drink way more and just get drunk. Um, we sort of um, brush it under the carpet. I mean, alcoholism is a huge problem in our society. Um, but alcohol is still sort of, you know, we have, you know, the wine tours, the Okanagan. We have piles of craft breweries and the, you know, the whole industry around ah, the taste and the flavor and the, the, I don't know what to call it, the, um, the foodiness. No, that's probably the wrong thing. But that's alcohol is being promoted um, on an ongoing way as sort of like, ooh, get the cool and nicest, nicest, uh, um, high quality stuff that you can get ignoring the fact that ultimately I mean the purpose of alcohol is for us to alter our minds but we don't do it in a good way and therein marijuana is a huge benefit I can't overdose some marijuana I don't get hangovers from marijuana um, physical addiction is not impossible Yes, there's the psychological addiction, but I'm not too worried about that in my life um, for a whole host of reasons. It's better on so many levels, but we still treat it as more or less criminal. More so like a taboo, and alcohol is okay. And that's a problem in our society. So we really need to push away from the alcohol. It doesn't do us any good. And we probably as a society should be not, 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 not like becoming a, um, a prohibition type society, a, um, you know, the, the sort of world that we had under the BC Socrates back under WC Bennett. Um, we don't need to ban any things or make it impossible or make it harder to have alcohol, but we do need to as a society look at why are we allowing alcohol and why are we promoting it at all? when really shouldn't we be promoting people if you're going to get your mind altered go for the marijuana it's better for you on every level and since i don't smoke it i don't even get the problem the smoking part of it but as a society we still have this taboo about marijuana we still have this idea that marijuana is somehow a bad thing and I think we need to get over that and i think we can i think way we can see success in our society is um if people spend their time getting stoned and don't and aren't getting drunk and if the amount of sales of alcohol in bc go down because people get stoned instead maybe that's maybe that's how we measure success because we certainly as hell will be a much better society of people being stoned than people being drunk. Anyway, this is my rambly third video of the Getting Stoned series that I suddenly decided to do tonight, which, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> we'll see if it goes anywhere, or whether it has any traction, anybody's interested in it, but this is, uh, yeah, uh, part three. I'm fairly certain, okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and post this. The problem is the uploading time, et cetera, and that by the time it happens, I might be too stoned to actually get it posted tonight and it'll be posted whenever I get to it, unless I see some sort of um, streak of sanity that tells me, Bernard, this is a really stupid idea, this video is, which in case it won't get posted, but I suspect, um, I suspect this isn't this isn't going to hurt me in any way, shape, or form, and it's sort of the, um, the sort of um, frank discussion we need to have about alcohol, marijuana, my, and altering our minds and that sort of thing, because there is something 
that we have to accept that humans enjoy, but not only enjoy, but humans do get wisdom out of um, getting stoned. I mean, I'm still afraid to try um, LSD. I did mushrooms, and uh, it was a long time ago, but maybe maybe I want to try and look at these sort of things as well, though they're not legal. Um, but marijuana is, and that is a good thing. So, if I have the capacity after this uploaded, I will actually post it online. If not, and maybe there will be a fourth part to this. But I'm not promising anything because I'm right on the edge of being able to operate complex machinery like um, this laptop in front of me. Anyway, I hope you at least all find this enjoyable and because possibly it's interesting and funny, but I'm stoned. So who knows? <laughs> anyway, bye all.